In this video, I'm going to show you how to use StatCrunch to calculate things like the mean and the standard deviation. All right, so the first thing that you're going to notice is that I put all of my data in a column. So I'm using the chapter three examples from my notes, and this is the exam list of scores all the way down. You can also see further on in my notes, I do some things on temperature and movies, and those are in as well. Okay, all right. Um, that being said, you don't have to enter in all your data at once as far as the entire homework section. You could just go column by column. So let's say you want to find the mean and standard deviation of exams. So I'm going to type in all the exam scores and then name it. Okay. Now to calculate the mean and standard deviation, you come over here to stat, summary stats, and columns. So stat, summary stats, and columns. You don't need to memorize these steps. I'm just showing you um, the, the, the process that is listed in the notes. All right, because I have four columns of data, there are four names that have appeared. So if you only have one column that you entered, then you're only going to see one name. Okay, you want to highlight the columns that you're interested in, and I'm interested in exams. If I scroll down, I'm going to see a place where I can shop. So in just a minute, I'm going to show you how to shop. But what I'm going to show you is that if you are lazy, and I do like to be lazy, if you just hit compute, It'll actually basically do the greatest hits of all the things you would possibly want to look at for um, basically this entire chapter. Okay. Um, the one bad thing is, is that if you just hit compute, then you have to really kind of pay attention to what you see. So here the mean is right here. So that's 78.9 is our mean score. And then here's our standard deviation. Our standard deviation, let's go ahead and just round it to one decimal place and call that 10.5. Okay. Now, these other values called variance and standard error, we're going to look at those um, in other chapters. Okay. And as far as this whole back end here of median range, min, max, Q1, and Q3, we're actually going to look at that in our second set of notes for this chapter. Okay. All right. Now, if you did not like being given so much stuff and you're like Jen I just want to get the mean and the standard deviation all right fine go stats summary stats columns just like we did before select your exam and now we're gonna shop for what we want okay so what I want is the mean and I want the standard deviation oh I forgot that here if you select more than one you have to hit shift control I don't know if I could do it with I don't think I could do it with two hands all right darn it um, I can't do it while holding my um, phone, obviously, as I'm making this recording. All right, you would hit Control Shift and hit Standard Deviation, and then hit Compute. Okay, so there's just my sad little mean. And then if I want to go back, I can always hit Options and Edit, and then we could do Standard Deviation. Oh, it did let me do both. Yay, I'm winning today. Boom. Okay. I typically just hit compute as I showed you the first time, but if you'd like to shop for specifically what you're interested in, there you go. So you don't need to do these calculations by hands, guys. You can just use StatCrunch. Woohoo!